I hope you're alive. And if you're not, at least you're not an idiot like me. Why am I an idiot? <laughs> Today we are reacting to my old videos, right? And so yesterday I sat and I recorded for like an hour or so and I was reacting to my old videos and whatnot. I recorded for maybe 20 minutes and what I do so then it makes editing easier and going through footage easier, I break it up into pieces. So at most I go 20 minutes of like a piece of footage. So I was recording for 20 minutes. I went over and I stopped recording so then I could like reset it, you know, and then it started being weird. I was like, uh, that's weird. So I just restarted the phone that I used to record. And I was like, okay, cool, restart. Uh, we're just gonna wait for that to situate. And I was like, okay, cool. Now I can start recording again. And so then as I went and looked back at the footage to go through it, I realized that that first 20 minutes is gone. It's not on the recording phone. It never got uploaded to anything. It's just gone. So that was kind of annoying. <laughs> However, I have the screen recordings on my computer. It did not catch audio, unfortunately, like my microphone audio. It got the audio of what was happening, but I forgot to turn the microphone on. So just gonna be looking at the screen recordings up until the point where I do have footage. So I started by, you know, opening up my YouTube channel and selecting the filter to go to the oldest ones. And I started posting YouTube videos way before the first video on my channel, which is a book review, but I had a lot of undiagnosed anxiety as a child. So I just deleted them because I hated them and it was, it was a whole thing. Anyway, so the first video on here is a book review, but I've had other videos before that on the channel, but I have no idea where those would be. And they're probably gone forever. The very first video is me doing a book review about a book called Olive's Ocean. I did like three of these on the channel way back when, and I, part of me wants to do it again, but at the same time, like, I don't know, maybe I could do book reviews again and like actually go into detail about it and make an art piece inspired by it. I feel like I could do that. Or I could leave that to my Patreon and if you want me to talk about books, you have to go there. Anyway. Ugh, I am so annoyed because I have to refilm everything because it's not a lot, but like it annoys me because I filmed everything just the way I wanted it. And then I have to refilm it I think I recorded this with my cheapy laptop that I owned and I think I used my phone to record it but then it didn't end up working transferring to an editing app that I was using so I used my computer itself so the quality is definitely not perfect. Also my walls are super empty. My walls are covered in crap both in the studio and in my room. Because my editing app won't let me die! Anyway guys, welcome back to another vi video. I am Lily Acme and um... And then I was looking at the description of the video. I did this in May 1st of 2019. That's, that's, that's insane. And also the description says YOLO, second video. Sorry, it's kind of short, but whatever. I don't have much to say, so yeet. Yeet. YOLO. Rip me. Kevin Hankers. Me trying to be funny. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and um, I need like a slogan of some sort. Oh, no. I don't know when have a fantabulous rest of your day came into play, because at this point I didn't know what my intro or outro should be. Anyway, fantabulous is like a word that we use a lot in my house, and I don't know when exactly I started saying have a fantabulous rest of your day, but... I'll talk to you guys later, and bye-bye! Oh, my foot hurts. Ow. Oh. All right. Now moving on. Oh, it was when I played Google Feud. Hello. I'm finally back with another video. And today... At this point in time, I really wanted to also make gaming stuff because I was super inspired by like Warren Seaside, Smallish Beans, all those people and whatnot. At that point, I think it was sort of a trend to make... Google Feud videos, so I tried it myself. I was really, really, really horrible at it. This video, this next one is using ink, so I was doing Inktober. I know I haven't put an Inktober video up, but this is the first one. And I know it's like, what, October 6th? Yep, 
But right now, when this video is posted, it's like October 7th or 8th or... Anywho, I did do an Inktober... Yeah, so this video, I said in this that I made it on the 6th of October and then I posted it on the 8th. During this time, the only area of time that I had to make videos was on weekends. I definitely had time during the week, but I just mostly focused on weekends. And I had this, this mindset that I had to make a video in a day edit the video and then post it like one day right after another like saturday i would make the video sunday i would edit and then monday i would post no wonder i was really stressed out about posting and i used to post like twice a week or try to post twice a week that's wild and in this video i had no idea how to edit i did but i didn't and there's no music it's complete silence because I remember posting it and then realizing I forgot to add music. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I am in a car going to the Dollar Tree. Um... And then I actually started getting pretty decent at like making videos. Obviously not perfect, but it started progressing a lot more. Uh... This Valentine's Day video was a lot of fun to make. I remember having a lot of fun making this one with my mom. This is when I gained a little more confidence making videos and whatnot. And I remember feeling so awkward recording in public. I still feel awkward recording in public, but less now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantabulous rest of your day. Bye. All right. And that's all of the, the footage that got deleted <laughs> that I just went through. So now we're going to go to the actual, like, original recordings that I did of this. But, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's a period of time where, like, there's very sporadic videos, which is these five right here. I posted these book review, and then... When did I post this, though? Posted... I promise to post twice a week now, now that I bought a good editing app. Um, that's funny. I used to post twice a week. That's weird. Now I post once a week. Anyway. Oh my camera quality. What did I use? It's hot in here. Started reading a digital book, of which it's digitally. A four being because Okay, that was posted in June, June 29th of 2008, 20, wait, was that 2020? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, I got sidetracked. <laughs> 2020, wow, 2020 changed me. Anyway, June 29th of 2020. See, 2020 is when I really started trying to get my YouTube stuff going and whatnot because I actually had the time because, you know, 2020 was a disaster. So I actually had time to figure out what's post and stuff. And then I posted this one uh, July 1st of 2020. And I had to reorganize my room. I reset everything. I finally started trying to like make videos, make it all nice. And I was super inspired by Mariah Elizabeth. I made recently. And if you are not subscribed, audio quality is a bit mid, but it's okay. I was updating y'all about why I've been posting. Look at me. I'm so cool. I'm so good at this. I know how to be an influencer on the internet at age. How old was I in 2020? I'm 17. What's I can't do math. I was I was 13. Okay, that's wild. And this is when I actually started posting pretty consistently and I started establishing my style figuring it all out welcome back y'all today we are doing another kit review and by this point I had a different phone that I was using to record videos so I had my own personal phone and then I had a phone that didn't actually work it couldn't text or call or anything but I could automatically upload things to Google Photos through it, and then I could edit videos on my computer. And at this point, I had bought a nice editing app. I had bought the one I currently use, which is Mobavi Video Editor. 
Although I have an editor now, so... Ooh, I also scripted my videos. Like, I wrote down word for word what I was going to say because uh, undiagnosed anxiety at this point. And I just, like, did that because there was no way that I was going to be able to words. Yeah, and this is the point where we get into, like, two years ago when things started actually becoming... My videos actually started becoming good and I was having a lot of fun and enjoying them. So yeah, this is a lot more of like current time and stuff like that, so. Wow, I've grown so much. Like seeing how it's ch how it changes, go scrolling through my videos on my YouTube channel, it just makes me so happy because I'm so expressive. I'm so, f like that's, I found my style and what I like to do. And it's so, so fun to see how I've grown and how I've changed. I hope you enjoyed traveling into the past with me a little bit and looking at some of the videos that I posted as a small child. Watch them at your own risk. <laughs> I am so happy with where I am today. I never thought that I would reach this point genuinely. And I know that my studio is just an extra room in my parents' house, but I'm so glad for everything that I've experienced and that I get to do what I enjoy, even if it's not I don't reach a lot, a lot of people, and I'm not necessarily famous, and I don't make money doing this. I mean, I have my business and my website, but like making YouTube videos, I genuinely do because I love it, and I love seeing your guys' comments and things like that. I love you all, and I hope you have a fantabulous rest of your day. Bye!